everyone how is everyone doing welcome to isabella banks youtube channel where we discuss all things harry megan and their level up journey if you're new here i'm wheezy and it's great to meet you virtually so guys how's your week been so far tgifa as you can probably hear from my voice the cold is still going on but I just couldn't sit still because there's so much coming out in the news. So I'm going to do the best that I can putting out the updates and please share your comments and your perspectives in the comment section as we catch up on the news. So as per usual, we're discussing the latest events in the wacky world of the toxic British media, the British royal family and how their actions relate to Prince Harry and Meghan. So guys, let's get started. America Riviera Orchard is officially over 600K on Instagram. Thank you to all those people who subscribe when we're doing our Activism Tuesday. I know it's not all just because of that. Let's give our special thanks to the toxic British media for promoting Megan's brand so much that the channel's numbers rose by over 4,000 followers in 24 hours. Guys, the jam hunt continues, and this time it's Tracy Ellis Ross who has posted Megan's gift basket containing her jam. So if you guys are not aware, Tracy Ellis Ross has always been an ardent supporter of Megan. If you remember, she supported her during her 40 by 40 mentorship campaign to help women re-enter the job market. This Twitter user said, friends who support each other are extra special and get to join the jam jar hunt number 21. <laughs> I just love the way Harry and Meghan incorporate fun, wholesome vibes into their activities, whether it's for charity or even just plain old money making. We also found number 19 with Mindy Kaling, who has received her jar and posted it on Instagram. And guess what? Nacho, Prince Harry's real brother, also posted his jam jar on Instagram. He's got number 10 and he says, did I tell you I love your jam? Oh, that's so lovely. Friends who support each other, eh? I'm sure we all wish we had more of those in our lives. So the British media are crying so much about Meghan's jam that some people, of course, had to make memes about what they thought Kate would be thinking about this whole brohaha at this time. And of course, it's all in good jest. So this meme says, Kate's thinking, I'm not getting any jam. And of course, why would you? You've been the absolute worst to Meghan, so you're not likely to get any jam. You shouldn't have been thinking any other way. But of course, we all know that this is a joke, right? Kate is probably not thinking about Megan's jam at this point in time, but she might be marveling at how Megan's jam has completely stolen all the headlines. The jokes continue, even as some people said, Megan should send the royal family a special edition jam basket with a custom flavor made just for them. Sour grapes. <laughs> and another person commented below that comment, perfect. And another one said, love that. <laughs> you know, when Megan gets any kind of attention at all, it drives the derangers crazy and they can't seem to cope. Even if it means that they take actions which make them look even more crazy than they already are. Look at them mocking Megan's jam jar hunt with the pictures on the screen. Look at this, where it says, Julia, whatever her name is, says, wow, can't believe I got number one. Who got two to 100? Post pics below. Meghan Markle, smuckers. And the other person by the side, Lemon Pie, says, I had to do it. And just like Meghan, it's an empty vessel. Cheers, scam jam. World's most pretentious jam. Nobody asked you. She was not talking to you. She was talking to the people who, so far, we have seen are her friends. It's not just influences so we don't know what you're talking about unless you're bitter because you're not included in her circle and she's not desperately running around looking for people to market her jam as one person actually said on twitter they said mostly they're mad that she's got influential friends who can do such a thing for her as posting her product on their pages they would prefer that their actions against her have bring her to her knees and she's begging for their attention or for their help. That would make them happy. British media got into this whole thing, but of course on the negative path. 
right? So this simple matter of Megan's Jam being gifted to her friends and being posted on her friends' Instagram pages has resulted in the British media saying that royal fans are refusing to buy Meghan Markle's jam when it eventually goes on sale. But the fact is that Meghan is in America. I don't know whether... <laughs> of course, I know that they already know this, but the whole idea is that if Meghan's marketing of her jam on social media was going to generate any kind of positive headlines, they want to nip that in the bud by making sure that at least on the British side, they are able to plant articles which continues to service the ongoing negative narrative so that there's no possibility that there are any positive headlines ever being written about Meghan in the UK and possibly use that and leverage that across the pond in America. Anyway, Megan is not asking people in the UK to buy her products. She has not made any forays towards doing that. And they're making sure that if in the event that Megan's business is an absolute success, there is no possibility of her being able to do any business in the UK ever. Well, we'll see about that, right? because we can never say never and likely is Megan going to be a billionaire that will involve her marketing her products to different markets and UK might eventually be one of those. So I think that they're just looking into the future and trying to make sure that none of Megan's products are ever supported here in the UK. Anyway, the Sussex squad helped the British media fix their redundant headline by saying that the royal fans refuse to buy Meghan Markle's strawberry jam when it eventually goes on sale because they can't afford it. <laughs> As I said, Meghan is not marketing her products to the average British market. So it's redundant. As, of course, Rich and Eden can be found anywhere where Meghan is being discussed snarkily, okay? And he says Meghan in a jam as launch boosts sales of King Charles's conserve hashtag royal to read thursday's eden confidential column in full click on this link and of course you can see the headline of the article reads megan in a jam as launch boost sales of king's conserve well doesn't that tell you something if you're analyzing critically but of course you know the british media journalists they gaslight people into thinking that they are logical conclusions do not make sense because if they are thinking about this logically basically what they are saying is that king charles is riding on the coattails of megan's popularity so hard that it has boosted the sale of his jam that is the admission being made from this article he has written if he had his brain screwed on right, he would realize that was what he was actually saying with the article. But they're looking so hard for anything that they can say, which would give an either a neg negative connotation about Megan, what Megan is doing, people around Megan, that they are ready to forego logic in the bid to push their agenda of negativity about Megan forward. They went to find this time a so-called gold winning marmalade maker to tell Megan what she needs to do to make her jam successful. As though Megan has asked for their input into her jam or the launch of her product. After all, you just said that Megan's name has boosted the sale of King Charles's own jam, right? <laughs> anyway, you would think that they would stop there, but no. They are messing around with her website address to direct traffic away from her website. Megan's website is AmericanRivieraOrchard.com and some anonymous person has set up a website with AmericanRiviera.uk. While the American web link is still operating as normal, those clicking on the link AmericanRivieraOrchard.uk are directed to a page asking for donations for the UK-based anti-poverty charity and community food bank. The homepage states, forgiveness, permission, please donate to the Trussell Trust. And a message on the Just Giving page reads, not Megan, hope Megan won't mind, thoughts with Catherine X. 
It goes on to explain the premise of the Trussell Trust, which provides practical support to those who cannot afford essentials and campaigns for a future where no one will require emergency food services. The donations are currently now up to £6,554. This is a very odd situation, and it seems that this should be seen for what it is, which is a fraud. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? Not stopping there, there's this person on Reddit who has a huge following, who is trying to organize people to report Megan to the Department of Health. I have to admit that I feel a bit scared when I see things like this, which is why I'm always encouraging people to engage in the Activism Tuesday, because these people are using their numbers to fight against Harry and Meghan's projects. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I have to admit to feeling a bit scared for Meghan, and I almost wish she wouldn't sell anything edible, because these people can't possibly make false claims in order to cause her legal problems in the future. But let me know your thoughts on the matter in the comment section. Before we dive deeper into this matter, if you're new here, I extend a warm invitation to join our vibrant community. For some of you who have just started following the controversy between Prince Harry and Meghan and the British royal family, it must feel like a coming of age. I'm sure the questions you might be asking yourself might possibly sound like, what? Are you serious? Is this for real? Yeah, it is. I'm sure you feel like the scales of deception have just now fallen off your eyes and now you don't know what to believe. Don't worry, over here on this channel and among other Sussex friendly channels as well, we have all been there. And even now there remain areas where we find ourselves gaining a better understanding of the issues in the matter on a daily basis, causing our perspective to change. On this channel, we don't just skim the news, we delve into its implications, analyze it, and sometimes take action. So whether you're just seeking updates, analysis, or seeking to engage, there's something here for everyone. And if you visited my channel before, but have not subscribed, welcome back. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. To all our loyal subscribers, a heartfelt thank you for being a part of our community. Let's now turn our attention to Richard Eden's palpitations over Megan's cooking show. So as many of you may have already seen, Richard Eden is ready to complain about anything Megan does. I had said this earlier in this same video. Richard Eden says that a source told him that Megan's cookery show won't be filmed at the Montecito mansion. Netflix is apparently going to be renting another property for the filming. He can't understand why, because he feels like Meghan and Harry have already given people a glimpse of their homes. According to House Beautiful, this is quite normal. And according to Hollywood insiders, this is quite a normal practice because a home kitchen would provide no space for their large crew, not to mention all the extra lighting that would need to be added. Fans of Nigella Lawson's At My Table were bummed to find out that they were not going to be getting a glimpse of her actual kitchen, but a set. But she says it's close enough. It's filmed in the studio, copied from my kitchen and using her own clutter, she told the fan on Twitter. Some chefs do film from home and it's not as perfect as you might think. And they gave the example of Ayesha Curry, who filmed her Food Network show, The Seasoned Life, in her home kitchen and told people it was a nightmare because I could hear her children cry and would have to wait for them to settle down. Though she designed her home kitchen specifically for filming purposes, she now sees the beauty in separating work from home. She's since moved and doesn't plan to invite the cameras into her new kitchen anytime soon. And that's exactly the model Harry and Meghan are going to be following for Meghan's cooking show, which makes all the sense in the world. But as I said, Richard Eden is just looking at all times for anything that he can criticize Meghan about. Let's now turn our attention to the British media's fainting fits over Meghan's little black dress, okay? Meghan was looking smoking hot in this dress from top to bottom. The look was perfection. Since she knows that people scrutinize everything she wears so closely, why not tie the outfits into a good course, right? 
Yes. So apparently, looking at the mission statement of the designers of the dress, they said, our impact course is worth buying for. Every purchase made at Wonderful Good not only grows the movement towards a circular economy, but also creates positive social and environmental impact. So they say, we are so proud to announce our Q1 charity partner for 2024 is Share the Dignity. 100% of profits raised during this quarter will be donated towards Share the Dignity, an organization that exists to support women, girls, and anyone menstruating who finds themselves in vulnerable situations across Australia. Here's the money we've raised, updated quarterly, worn for good, sent agony. And this particular charity is something that Megan has been associated with in the past. So it's very much on brand for her. And this person on Twitter says, not that I have to do this because jealousy is a hell of a drug, but a Tamu two-piece lover says Megan was inappropriately dressed. It's hot in South Florida. Can you fly there after you buy a dryer? Priorities. Were these ladies also inappropriate? And you've got ladies at the same event showing skin their shoulders were bare just like megan's and you even got harper bazaar entering the chat saying duchess megan's unexpected backless dress infuses some heat into royal fashion and when the british media saw that the fashion girlies were praising megan they revived the bullying allegations as a way of dousing that spark of positivity that was beginning to flow around her one twitter user said of course after a hugely successful weekend and megan looking like that girl the bullying allegations have come up what a surprise for your information the palace said they'd make the report public then refused megan's name was cleared on a smear campaign by you know who <laughs> but one thing everyone is not even saying it is just the way megan is working hard at her marriage making sure that she looks attractive to her husband at all times perhaps if kate had done this she would not find herself in this situation she currently finds herself in with william obviously dressing like the mom in the little house on the prairie didn't work for her right anyway what do you guys think about all this I'm concerned about the website directed traffic to a charity without Megan's consent, hijacking the use of Megan's brand name without her consent, right? I have even written to them and asked them to take a look at it. They just came back to say they don't know anything about it, but they are receiving the money. So they have to do more than just say we don't know anything about it. It's either they take themselves off from Just Giving, which is the company hosting the donations, or they contact the person who actually made up the link to take it down because receiving fruits of fraud is being complicit in fraud. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. Thank you for joining me on this video. Until next time, it's Wheezy signing out. Take care and bye.